This is a lesson on adding and subtracting decimals to hundredths. So one extra decimal place compared to what we have been doing in the last two lessons. And we're also mixing adding and subtracting. So this lesson is going to be very similar to, to what we have been doing, but we're going to be having more of a money focus because money has two decimal places. And so we you can see right here it says money uses base 10 with tenths and hundredths. So money, um, a loony, is one dollar, but it's also one whole. Um, and then a dime is one tenth of a dollar, one tenth. Remember how that's how we say it anyways, um, or we can say ten cents. And then a penny is one one hundredth of a dollar or one cent. So we might not use pennies anymore, but they're still useful to use in math because they still exist when you use anything other than cash. I mean, I guess pennies don't exist, but the cent does. So um, place value can help you read an amount of money. So it, it there's a chart here, and it has dollars. Uh, this should say dimes and pennies. So these are one whole, and then tenths, and then hundredths. So um, right now just um, on an open spot like right up here please count up this money and then write what you think the, the amount is in decimal form so pause right now and then do that okay so um you should have got i don't think this is gonna work nope we'll just go like this you should have got two dollars and don't forget your dollar sign at the front decimal and then we've got 10 dimes, I mean five dimes that are each worth 10 cents. So that means that it's um, 50 cents, but it's also five tenths of a dollar. And then uh, pennies, we've got four. So you should have got $2.54. $2.54. That word in there was. So um, let's go to the bottom and we, you've got to practice here. So um, there's also a second page as well to this, but so the practice we're going to do um, is actually supposed to be called, yeah, practice, I'm sorry. Um, you're gonna pause the video and then do this one and then you'll play it again and watch and then you'll do the other ones just to make sure you're on the right track. So you're going to suppose you have $10 um, to spend. And then if you want to spend as much of that $10 as possible, um, what are some of the things that you could buy and um, how much money would be left after you bought those things? Okay, so pause the video right now and see how much you could buy and how much money you would have left. All right, so um, I just assumed that I was just going to buy one of as many things as I could. So I've got a hot dog, a burger, onion rings, fruit, milk, yogurt, and pizza. Um, and so I've got a dollar twenty-five plus two twenty-five, which would be three fifty. Plus two, another two twenty-five would be three four five seventy-five. Um, this would be six seven dollars seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Um, Eight dollars seventy-four cents. Nine dollars seventy-three cents. So I can't get anything for less than twenty-five cents, um, which is what I would need for this. The smallest amount is 49 cents. So how much money would I have left over? Well, this is how much money I spent was $9.73. So I'm going to subtract $10 here and 973 here and subtract. I'm going to have to do some borrowing. So this is going to turn into 10. And then I can't borrow with this. So pretty much all of these are going to turn into 9 because this technically um, is going to turn into a 0 and then this turns into a 10 but then this 0 has to borrow so it turns into a 9 and this turns into a 10 then this 0 has to borrow so it turns into a 9 so we've got a 0 here, we've got 9, 9, and 10 so 10 minus 3 is 7 9 minus 7 is 2 bring down the decimal and 9 minus 9 is 0 and, oh, I was wrong, I needed, I could have slightly more than 25 cents. Um, I could have 27 cents left, but the next smallest thing is 49 cents. So I would have 27 cents left. Yours might be different, um, 
but if you have anything, if you have more than 49 cents left, then add on a water. Or if you have more than 99 cents, then add on pizza slice or yogurt or something and see how much you can get for the $10. Now this is actually quite a bit. This is not very realistic for how much you could get um, usually at an event, but um, yeah, just an example anyways. Yeah, what happened here? Ah. Okay, problem averted. Um, okay, so flip to the back of the page and then do these two and then play the video after you're done. I'll read them first and then you can pause. So it says, Alfred has $5. He bought a fruit cup for $1.25 and water for $0.49. Cents. Use a place value mark place value, let's just say mat, by drawing coins um, that and to add a dollar twenty-five and forty-nine cents. Okay, so you're going to draw like a loony and like draw this one out and then draw this one out and then add them together. Um, and then after that, what is Alfred's change? So you're going to figure out how much money he has left after he purchases those two things. So pause the video now and then play again once you have finished. Okay, so now that you're finished, um, let's go through this. So um, I'm going to draw a fruit cup first. So a dollar is a loony. So I'm just going to put that by a dollar. Whoops, I should have put that differently. Put the one in the middle because that's the important part. And put the dollar sign to show that that's not a penny. Um, how many dimes would I need to make 25 cents? I would need one dime and two dimes. And then I've got five cents left. And now we're going to assume we don't have any nickels. So we're going to put pennies. And we need five of them. I mean four of them, sorry. No, five of them. Wow. I'm trying to think ahead here. All right, so that's my uh, fruit cap, dollar, uh, 20, and then five. And then, oops, sure, I'll use blue. Um, okay, next we need to do water. So this is 49 cents, and so we don't have any dollars, but we do have dimes. And this tells us how many dimes. We have four dimes. So there's one, two, and you could just do this in pencil. You don't necessarily have to have different colors. I just am because it's easy and then it shows you what it should, what it looks like. Okay, and then pennies, we need nine of them. Okay, there's pennies. So let's count how many pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we got to ten. That means that it equals one more dime. So we're gonna circle them. There's four, there's 10. There's my 10 pennies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're gonna go over here as another dime. Okay, so we don't count those anymore. So we have one, two, three, four in my hundredths spot. In my tenths place, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in my dollars, I've got one. So. That means that he spent a total of one dollar and seventy four cents. So I'll write that properly without the giant spaces. And if it's a problem, remember that I uh, answer in the form of a sentence. I kind of took out my own space here and we're racking up the time with the video. So let's just go to the next one for now. Um, what's Alfred's change from $5? So we need to write 500. And then we need to write the total amount that he spent underneath. And then we need to subtract. So uh, 7, taking 7 away from 0, we cannot do that. We need to take from this 0, but we also can't take something from nothing. So we need to take from the 5, the 5 becomes a 4, then this becomes a 10, but then we need to take 1 from it to bring to the other 0, so this becomes a 10 here. And now we can subtract, so 10 subtract 7 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, 
go to decimal here, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So that means that Alfred has $3.53 left. So that's his change. Okay, so that's the basics of what you will be doing. Um, your assignment is on page 214 to 215, and it's numbers 1 to 7.